uh, are you uh, a student of edexcel igcac o level physics then this video is for you today i am going to uh, solve january 2022 paper 1 okay let's start question number 3 the wifi signal the wifi signals are electromagnetic waves that can be transmitted at a frequency of 2.2.4 gigahertz and 5.2 gigahertz state the similarity of the wifi signal at 2.4 gigahertz and 5.2 gigahertz so remember uh, remember all electromagnetic wave is a transverse wave so travel uh, at the at the same speed in vacuum can travel through vacuum so travel at the same speed A2, uh, two, the two Wi-Fi signal have different frequencies. State another difference between the Wi-Fi signal. They have different wavelengths. They have have different different wavelengths. Wavelength. They have different wavelengths. Remember, they have different wavelengths. Question number B one. State the formula linking. State the formula linking uh, speed, frequency, and wavelength. Remember, there is a formula. Uh, we know speed equal to speed equal to uh, frequency. Frequency. frequency into wavelength so there is a formula speed equal to speed equal to frequency into wavelength we know the short form symbolic v equal to f into lambda f into lambda v equals to f into lambda is the relation we then calculate the wavelength of wifi signal transmitted at 5.2 10 to the power 9 gigahertz the speed of the light at 3 to 10 to the power 8 meter per second so we know v equal to f lambda f lambda we have to convert we have to calculate lambda wavelength so lambda equals to v divided by frequency so here speed is 3 to 10 to the power 8 meter per second and frequency is 5.2 uh, gigahertz so 10 to the power 9 hertz so after a calculation we get the answer 0.058 meter so answer 0.058 meter then next question question number c which type of wave is a wifi signal so wifi signal uh, is a transverse wave listen all electromagnetic wave is a transverse wave all electromagnetic wave is a remember this uh, statement all electromagnetic wave electro magnetic wave waves uh, are transverse wave or transverse wave transverse wave. why because uh, 
electromagnetic wave uh, are, is the combination of the electric field and magnetic field where electric and magnetic field vibrates at right angle with the direction of propagation of the wave. So that's why all electromagnetic wave is a transverse wave. Now, uh, question, question number C D C two Roman two C. Uh, describe the difference between transverse wave and long return wave. So, transverse wave. If the direction of vibration of the medium particle uh, is perpendicular to the direction of the propagation of the wave, is called transverse wave. So, if the direction of vibration, uh, direction of vibration of the medium particle, uh, direction of vibration of the medium particle is 90 degree or perpendicular to the direction of propagation of the wave, propagation of the wave. So, direction of propagation of the wave, then it is called transverse wave. So, transverse wave, like that, transverse wave. So, direction of vibration of the medium particle is uh, perpendicular to the direction of propagation of the wave. So, here it is 90 degree or perpendicular. On the other hand, if the direction of vibration of the medium particle, uh, particle is uh, parallel, parallel or 0 degree or same uh, with the direction of propagation of the wave, then uh, the angle between them is 0 degree or parallel. So then uh, that type of wave is a longitudinal wave. So longitudinal wave. So transverse, this one is the transverse, transverse wave, and it is longitudinal wave. This longitudinal wave, longitudinal wave, and it is longitudinal wave. So uh, sound wave is the example of longitudinal wave. Here compression, then Rear friction again, compression, then rear friction, compression, rear friction. So, if the direction of vibration of the medium particle is uh, perpendicular, then it is uh, called transverse wave. It is called transverse wave. And if, on the other hand, if the direction of vibration of the medium particle is parallel, parallel or zero degree to the direction of propagation of the wave, is called longitudinal wave. Now, question number four. Here, question is: A student investigate investigates the reflection of light by a plane mirror. The student uses a ray box, a ruler, and a pencil and a mirror. Uh, then, uh, name the apparatus. Name the apparatus that can be used to measure the angles during the investigation. So, device instrument name, name is protractor. Then question number B, the diagram shows a ray of light directed to a point on the mirror. Label the angle of incident. So, angle of incident so, angle of incident means the angle between incident ray and normal. This one is the incident ray. What is incident ray? The ray which incident on a mirror or plane surface, then it is called incident ray. So, angle between incident ray and normal is known as angle of incident. It is denoted by I. Denoted by I. So, measure the angle of incident here, here uh, by using protector, 
we can calculate the angle of incident here it is 79 degree 79 degree complete the diagram to show the reflected ray remember uh, in uh, reflection the angle of incident uh, so here it is angle of incident 79 is exactly equal to the angle of reflection angle of reflection so it is reflected ray reflected ray reflected ray so this one is the reflected ray and remember angle of in incident equal to angle of reflection so equal to r so the value e will be 79 degree so the law of reflection is angle of incident is equal to the angle of reflection now uh, question number 5 State uh, the formula linking uh, average speed, distance travel, and the time taken. We know average speed. We know average speed uh, equal to uh, distance, total distance moved. Total distance moved. Distance moved divided by moved divided by time taken time taken so uh, a car uh, travels at 21 meter per second driver re reaction time is 0 0.14 seconds calculate the distance traveled by the car during the driver reaction time driver reaction time so uh, we know uh, speed equal to speed v equal to v equal to s by t. So here s equal to v t. So car uh, travels uh, 21 uh, meter per second, and time of the reaction time is 0 0.14 second. So 2.9 meter. 2.9 meter is the thinking distance so the distance traveled by the car during the driver's reaction time 2.9 uh, meter then uh, next uh, the car experiences a braking force 7600 newton the car has a mass of 1200 kg state the formula linking the force mass and acceleration we know uh, force or resultant force equal to uh, force equal to mass into acceleration as into acceleration acceleration as into acceleration so that means f equal to m a m into a calculate the acceleration so we know f equal to m a so we can write a equal to f divided by m f divided by m here uh, force 7600 uh, newton and mass is 1200 kg 1200 kg so this one is the braking force remember so braking force we use braking force 7600 and mass 1200 kg so answer is 6.3 meter per second is square so 6.3 meter per second is square is the acceleration here now calculate the braking distance travel as the speed of the car is reduced uh, 21 meter per second to 0 uh, 0 0 so remember uh, distance travel uh, so braking distance remember braking distance Breaking distance equal to average speed, average, average speed into breaking time, into breaking time. Remember, why it is 
average speed. We use average speed because during the making time, speed of the car decreases with time. So that's why we have to use 21 plus 0 divided by 2 uh, into breaking time. So what is the breaking time? Sorry, there is no time here, so we have to use different formula or method. Here, uh, final final velocity is V and initial velocity U. So we can use V square equal to U square minus 2AS. 2AS, final velocity 0 square and initial velocity 21 meter per second square minus 2 uh, a here uh, 6.3 uh, we have to find out the s so s equal to 21 square divided by 2 into 6.3 so break distance is 35 meter 35 meter so 35 meter is the breaking uh, distance. Thank you for watching. If you like my uh, video, subscribe my channel.